Tonight, more technology could be on its way to Perry. The goal to help make the community a little safer. Megan Western shares what city leaders are wanting to do. When you come to Creekwood Park, you may notice several of these signs posted around saying security cameras are in use. And soon you could see some more of these signs popping up in 17 more city parks. In Rotary Park, you may occasionally find Micah West zipping past. It was actually this park that I learned how to board with because my friend invited me. He's got all types of special tricks. I can stay on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Well, he's growing his skills in a place where he says he feels safe. This is always one of the parks that's had a really pleasant atmosphere. I can't tell you how often I come out here and see other people also just enjoying their downtime. Rotary Centennial Park is one of four in the city with security cameras, and Wes says it's a safety comfort. Oh, absolutely. That definitely helps. Alan Everidge says they want anyone walking or parking their car to have this experience. Every park, whether it's small and every community, deserves to have the same service, and, and that's our goal. It's already proven helpful in a 2022 homicide case. The video from that park um, was basically the, the final evidence needed uh, for a conviction. So if given approval, one, two, or three could go up in parks like Oldfield Park, Halfley, Legacy, Barbara Calhoun, and more. This is uh, a way to help keep, keep our community safe, deter criminal activity, but also apprehend those who choose to violate the law. Everidge says video is kept for only 30 days and no one sits and monitors it. In Perry, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. Now, city council will vote tonight on whether or not to get those cameras. A state grant would pay $390,000. The city would only have to pay $5,000. Perry City Council also set to consider a crime disruptor software. The software works with records management system and 911 dispatch to track criminal activities all across the county. And the cost is $4,000 for the first year. If they decide to renew it, the same state grant would pay for the next two years. They received more than a million dollars in grant money last year when they, we reported they were using the money for their FUSIS camera system. Those cameras allow homes and business owners to give police access to security cameras.